Hello there everybody, I'm Freezer Bunny Stimmer and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I decided to show you guys the world that I have been working on. Um and it has been inspired by a real world, I mean a real place actually in France called Versailles and it is near Paris and um it's basically an awesome place with an amazing palace and it's just very it's been an obsession of mine since like forever, so I pretty much wanted to create a version of it for The Sims 3. Um, in The Sims 2, I tried to make a replica of it in in game, but obviously that wasn't that didn't come true. So anyway, um, let me just show you guys the town real quickly. Um, yeah, we are still in um create a world. So if you guys are wondering why the hell I can do this and stuff, we are still in edit in game mode in create a world and i'm sorry if i'm stuttering guys i'm doing my best so yeah anyway while i'm showing you guys around the town um let me just tell you guys that i've been working on this world since 2012 so that is two years of work that you're seeing and for some reason um people have been uploading um world building videos lately so i decided to why not share this world building with you guys and so yeah um yeah, before I so I but since I already had some work done in this world, I to, I thought that you guys would want to show what we what we would want to see what we have so far. I'm, yeah, and um so that you guys can familiar familiarize yourself with the place and with what we're gonna do in the creator world. So anyway. Alrighty, let me just explain some of the areas where you guys. So, um, let's start off with the chateau. So Versailles is famous because it has a huge, gigantic palace and garden and whatever. So this is going to be the place for the chateau. I'm pretty sure you guys are already familiar with it in the history books and you know whatever. So this is where the chateau is gonna be, and this is where the garden is gonna be. So those are gonna be filled with lots. And this is the Grand Canal, and yeah, that is also an interesting feature because this is super cool. And this area is going to be um, the Triano area, where we're going to have the Grand and the Petit Triano. And this is going to be the Queen's Hamlet area, so um, which is like the, the farming area where Marie Antoinette um used to play dress up and stuff and you guys can see that all over town there are um rural areas where there's like farming areas because i also wanted to give um a kind of you know um french countryside feel to it and um okay so let us move on to the town actually which i have been working on recently um, as of yet, I have almost finished furnishing three buildings, which I'm going to show you guys. Um, the rest I'm probably going to show at a later date. So this is going to be the town area. Oops, it's lagging. I'm so sorry. So this is going to be the area of the town of Versailles. And for me, that's very important because every time people say Versailles, they think of the palace immediately. But no one realizes that it's actually... A town you know there's a city and there's people living in it other than the palace of course so yeah um, you guys can see that we already have several rabbit holes placed and you know what let's go into a kind of a more street view so we have this nice little plaza right here which is going to be kind of the marketplace and yeah it's going to be like the market area where where the sims can buy um, fruits and vegetables pretty much so um yeah i have the premium content what is it called fruits and veggie stand premium content and this is the cathedral which is one of my favorite structures because i just love building churches if you guys don't know i have a church building video on my channel so check that out um this one is already furnished and it has a very complicated interior and um i'll show you guys that later oh you know what i might as well show you guys now so um yeah what we do is we just control shift and click and we can build and buy mode on lot so like testing cheats it's pretty much um default enabled in this create a world um 
mode pretty much and I could just hit tab and I could go to free camera mode which enables me to build whilst looking up at the ceiling and if you guys can see this is the interior of it whoa yeah I worked really hard to make it look like an actual church yeah <laughs> so it has like a vault inside of it it has a vault uh there we go and for some reason the game glitches like that so um it has a vault and it also has a dome there we go it has a dome i hope you guys can see that um you know what let me just um <laughs> okay there we go so we can have a better view of the nave of this church okay there's the dome and there's that vault and so yeah this is the church and i love the interior of it um you know what let me get the mode and go back to just normal view and I just wanted to show you guys the ceiling of this place in particular because it was so complicated to make and I'm really really proud of it. So yeah, this is the interior of it. And you know, it's a perfect place for weddings and it is set as a wedding venue if you guys like to. So so yeah, um, this is the cathedral. Obviously it's not finished. I have to put a lot more stuff. But if you guys can see the... Um, it's getting there, it's getting there. Um, so yeah, it's definitely one of the more complicated buildings in town, I guess. And here's another view of the other side of it. Um, tab that really quickly. Um, so yeah, um, in cre Create a World, um, you can actually work on the ceiling while looking at this. like in this view I hope I'm making sense so it was easier for me to um, create this um, this very complicated building using that anyway guys <laughs> moving on to the next building um, so yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys three buildings because the others still aren't finished yet so um, moving on this is the streetscape of Versailles and I tried to make it like as genuine as possible so yeah there's a lot of cafes this one is a cafe actually and it's also one of my favorite places because I just love coffee shops and look at the, this street guys it took me forever to finish but I'm really proud of what it looks like so yeah this is a cafe and yeah let us take have a gander on the inside of it um, anyway, this is how it looks like from the outside, and it looks, oh my gosh, I really, really like this building for some strange reason. And, um, yeah, there's a ton of umbrellas outside, <laughs> just just because I thought that it would make the atmosphere more um, realistic, I guess. And, anyway, this place only has one story furnished, because, um, you know, what do you need? This is all you need pretty much for a functioning coffee shop. So we have the coffee shops that came, I mean coffee counters that came with the university. And yeah, this is pretty much a place where your sims can just relax and enjoy a cup of coffee or probably a date. I don't know. I really don't know if you take your date here, but um, you can. And um, it's also it also kind of feels really really high class with all the luxurious stuff. So that is what this place looks like. And um, it also has a bathroom over there. This one, the rest of the building is gonna be um, just a shell, similar to what we have in Late Night, for example, where they're they're just blackened out because um, the buildings in France are quite big and. In order to achieve the look that I was going for for the town, um, well, they really had to be quite big and they had to look as close to the actual thing as possible. Now, these buildings are, are not based on real life, but are, you know, sim versions of what we might find um, in France. And for the last building that I'm going to show you guys, it's this one. It is the bowling alley. This one, it's also going to be um, mostly a shell. And if you guys can't see, this place has tons and tons of umbrellas. And I don't know, I, I think that's just really cute. Um, this place is going to be a restaurant, but I'm still working on it. 
and but this one is furnished and ready to go. I just need to do a minor um, additions to it pretty much. Um, so yeah, this is how it looks like from the outside. Um, oh my gosh, I love it. I mean, I don't, I don't mean to be vain and stuff, but I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Okay, so let us take a look at what we have on the inside. This is actually a two-story place because um, the bowling alley is taking a lot of space. The bowling pins or whatever. I don't know. So this is pretty much that. Um, the bowling area is over here. It has four lanes and there's like four places where your sims can sit. Here we have like the main reception area where we have two toilets, one for male and one for female. And there is also a bar over here um, where your sims could pretty much just have a drink and all that good stuff. Um, I didn't put um, I didn't put a professional bar because I am going to be placing late night lots over here, like late night places where bands can play lounges and um, dance clubs and all that stuff. So just to make you know more incentive for your Sims to go there, I just decided to place a normal um, bar on all these other places. So let's take a look at it in Sim view. There we go, and this area over here. I love the outside, oh my gosh, like I can't wait. I seriously pray to God that I finish this 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 world, because if I don't, I'm seriously like gonna hate myself. Anyway, moving on to the upstairs. So it's just pretty much a lounge area where your sims can um, walk, walk down that really quickly, where your sims can just read a book, or play foosball or look at the downstairs where they can see um, other sims go bowling <laughs> so yeah that's what it looks like and I'm really happy with how it turned out actually so yeah the rest of the building is also gonna be a shell so yeah and right next to it is actually a kind of a market um like group of buildings this is just one lot and if you guys know the sabi sellers collection i'm going to use it um as much as i can in this in this area because it's kind of like a shopping strip or whatever so yeah anyway guys um i think i'm about to wrap this video up really quickly so this is what the town looks like um this is avenue de paris Paris and there's also a river um so yeah it's not exactly 100% Versailles but um it's still under construction as you guys can see this area is going to be more farms more farms does that, does that make sense just more farming areas and stuff so yeah it's not exactly 100% Versailles but um you know you really really get a taste of Versailles and hopefully France in general um so yeah, I hope you guys look, um, I hope you guys support me by liking this video and favoriting it and subscribing to my channel to see more videos and definitely please comment and tell me guys if you actually are interested in this or it's probably just me and my obsession but I'm pretty sure some of you may probably be interested and I'm not making sense. <laughs> anyway guys, I think this is going to be it for this video. Um, watch out for the um, Let's Create a World series that is going to follow this one. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys like this video. All the links for my social media are in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Freezer Bunny Simmer, and I'll see you guys next time.